Hi, I'm Arden, and I'm really glad you're here uh, for this momentous occasion. Um, we finally finished this island. I wanted to do a St. Patrick's Day themed island just because I really hadn't seen anybody do St. Patrick's Day themed islands. I, I, I've seen builds and stuff. I'm probably just missing something, to be honest with you, but I, I couldn't find anybody that done like a, just a full island. So I thought, hey, that might be fun. That, why not? This is a fun time. Let's do it. That was before St. Patrick's Day uh, that we started this. And now it's July. I will not be taking questions at this time. Uh, but, but the point is, we're here. I have been talking for long enough. Let's get into this island tour. So you start off here at the airport, which we made sure was green because it's festive. This is our flag. I know. I'm an artist. It's a flag. All right. I wanted a bridge near the front because I love it. Like, it's just, it's so delicious. Delicious. When islands have bridges close to their airport, especially diagonal bridges. Ooh, they make me so happy. So I wanted to do one here and this is this is it there's no fancy terraforming or anything here i literally just wanted to slap a bridge down so i did and this is how it turned out but you come across and here are a bunch of little nifty gifties that will be laying out for you i have not set the dream address yet but if you want to go visit this island or what remains of it you can go to the dream address i'll put it on the screen right now um it'll also be on my instagram and everything so you don't you, you don't need to hunt for it you don't need to come back to this video it's all there but yeah come visit i'd be more than happy to have you if you do visit tag me in pictures or just send it to me on social media whatever drake no okay but yeah these are our little nifty gifties and what you'll get is like a couple of outfits a little shamrock set thing <laughs> like some stuff to hold like a little shamrock shake and a balloon and things like that things of that nature anyway we are going to start out hold on let me just take care of this one second <laughs> okay we're good now but yeah we are going to start um i think i had a plan and I forgot the plan. We're going to start over here and go to resident services. So what I wanted to have for kind of the downtown portion of the build. Uh, well, first of all, this whole island, it's split into two. We got this front half that's kind of like a city, small town, kind of a vibe. I don't know. Just saying words. Uh, and then we have the back half, which is just something different. Like that's, that's, we, you'll see in a minute. But yeah, so I wanted to make this kind of like a small Irish town kind of a feel, which, you know, obviously I know so much about. But yeah, I wanted this to feel very kind of castle-y, ruins, small town kind of vibe. I don't know how to describe it. Um, I think we got there. I think it's cool. And I thought it would be fun to make a train station so that's what we did with the museum to kind of uh, camouflage it at least a little bit you don't bother going to the museum there ain't nothing in there uh except for like the mandatory things i had to i had to put in so yeah that is the train station and then here we have our actual train pulling gold away from the island i don't know why i'm talking like this let's just keep going but yeah that is the train station there um i think it's pretty cute i really like these archways and yeah it makes me happy i think it's a i think it's a pretty nifty way to camouflage the museum i feel like it worked pretty well uh you you do forget that the museum is there or at least i do um but yeah and then i wanted to make kind of a little shopping district because we have a lot of villagers and i want their houses to all be something kind of uh at least what i whatever i can do and here we have jambet's sweater shop and we have shirley's really cheesy gift shop and i i love both of these builds very very much for all of the houses i have filmed separate footage of me going inside each of the houses when they're home and they're not like crafting and stuff so i'm gonna cut that in so just pretend all right but yeah uh we're gonna start off with checking out the inside of the gift shop and this is the inside of our lovely little tacky gift shop it really reminds me of those stores and i just think it's really kind of kitschy and tacky and fun in the best way and perfect for a <laughs> holiday themed island you know and yeah this is the store i tried to make it as green and just generally obnoxious as possible and i think i think i got there not to you know toot my own horn but i think i think we made something uh that does make your eyes hurt uh just a little bit and you know that's all i want right charlie's you don't care well fine all right well anyway moving on to the next okay and that is that i really like how that build turned out i will admit it makes me happy just fyi if you haven't seen my other videos all of the builds on this island were recorded and turned into speed builds so there's like a mega compilation of everything and then individual videos kind of broken down into the sections of the island that we worked on so like the train station section of resident services that's its own video and then this shopping district with both of these villager homes is its own video so if you want to see how they came together and you want to hear me talk more about them 
Um, I don't know. I don't think I say anything important or interesting, but you're welcome to watch it, whatever floats your boat. Uh, but yeah, that is the gift shop. And then coming on over here, we have the sweater shop. And here we are. This is Jambet's little sweater shop. I just thought it'd be so fun to have one of these on you know, an Irish themed island. And yeah, I really like the paneling uh, in this shop. It kind of lightens everything up. Otherwise it'd just be a bunch of wood tones and stuff. But yeah, I think it's cute. I think it's on theme. It seems like something that you would actually have in kind of like the touristy downtown kind of area, little shopping area of your tourist town. But yeah, now let's move right along. So those are those two houses. And yeah, I think it turned out kind of cool having a little separate section for little shops even if it's only a couple of them but yeah and i also like this little alleyway i don't know why i just do and from there you can come down here and this is kind of where the like festive party boardwalk tourist town vibe kind of starts at least for me um i didn't know what to do with this weird huge beach um especially since the shopping center was right there so i decided to turn it into kind of like a boardwalk kind of thing and this is what we ended up with now this has changed from the original speed build if you saw that it was i used a lot of the festival items and while i do love those items i set the game down for a while and then came back and looked at it with fresh eyes and it was just it was a lot even for me and that's saying something i think <laughs> but just for this theme since it is such like a small town country kind of vibe at least this part of the island i wanted it to be a little less feathery you know, like there were a lot of feathers. I've never seen anything in St. Patrick's Day that had feathers. <laughs> and I don't know why that bothered me, but it did. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna move on. Because I do, I do still use some of the festival stuff. I just toned it down. Because like there was a lot. We still have the little confetti machines, which I love. They're all over everywhere. And we just have a couple of little stands here. We have our vending machines, little places to sit, have your little snackies, have some fish and chips. And I put up a bunch of lights so that it looks kind of neat at night. And yeah. That is, that's, that's kind of it for, for this. For the beaches, I really wanted them to look natural-y for the most part. But obviously I cover this all in custom designs and just stuff. But I, I wanted to use a lot of the wheat fields at the water's edge and a lot of, you know, log stakes and rocks. It, like, it just makes me happy. Okay, let us keep on going. And you come up here and actually in... I think it was my second video. Yeah, my second video of this island. I asked what to do with the peninsula because I genuinely had no idea because I knew I was going to put the train station here and like I had the general layout kind of in my head, uh, but I didn't know what to do with the peninsula. And somebody suggested doing a wishing well, which I thought was so kind of on theme and so cute. Uh, so that's what we did. I found this awesome custom design and yeah, it's just really simple little wishing well. We have this little last bit of this part of the beach. Again, I just continued the boardwalk a little bit. If we keep on going, we can go back around here, back past the train station behind this shopping district, which a, a monstrosity of the castle items, by the way. You come around here and you can either go in through residence services around the front. We're gonna go in through residence services. Uh, you end up in this fun little party area, kind of like a street or like a little square that's been taken over by, you know, holiday celebrations. I don't know. Once again, I'm just saying words. And here you can see I use some of the some more of the festival items and stuff just because they're green and they're bright and i needed green and bright items so that's what we did uh but yeah we have some carnival games some tables and it's super fun super festive and i really like it you know i like how it turned out it's kind of like a communal party space and off of that you have able sisters over here and then you have my house which we will go inside real quick just because it's it's over here and that makes sense but there are chapters of this video so if you want to keep on going with the outside and then come back whatever do what Whatever you want to do. So you come in and the idea for my house is that it is just a pub. Like that's, that's it. It's just a pub. Um, I thought that would be kind of the best thing to do. Um, and that's, that's what we went with. So this main area is just kind of a, you know, your regular old kind of pub aesthetic. All right. You got your bar, you got your lights, you got your decorations. I wanted it to look like it was a bar, but that was decorated for St. Patrick's Day. So hence the why it's not all like just aggressively green. Um, it's, it's got like, you know, the paper chains and the balloons and the, the shamrock rugs and, and stuff like that. But yeah, you got the 
cluttered walls. Um, I'm going to open up the camera real quick. Hold on. I should have done that before and I didn't. I'm a professional. Okay. But yeah, that is this main area. I wanted something that was just very pub. All right. I wanted it to, to be giving pub. I think it's giving pub. I think we got there. And yeah, that is the main area. So from here, you have a few, you have a few options. First, we're going to go over here to the left. And this is just like a little fun game room. So you have your pool table, you have your little arcade machines, we have this nice green moody lighting, and we have a little couch in case you just want to sit down and your friends are playing and you just want to hang. And yeah, this is our fun little game room. I really liked how the lighting turned out. Actually, I was kind of worried about it at first, but yeah, I think it turned out okay. From there, uh, we're going to go over to the right and this is like the pub's kind of dining room. So if you go in, like I I'm thinking that it's a bar that serves, I keep interchanging bar and pub. I don't know. I'm American. I'm really sorry about that. But yeah, I was thinking like it's, if it's one of those places that also has food, food, you know, you could have like a separate room for that. That way you don't have to sit in the main room. Yeah, this is your nice, little cozy dining room in case you want to get away a little bit and then from there we're gonna scooch on back here to the back room and once again there is if you want to see this house being like put together there is a whole video just dedicated to decorating this house but anyway this is the back room i wanted to give it like a little little bathroom area a little bathroom moment a little potty time if you will and it's also this storeroom back here so we just have a bunch of bottle crates and tools and essentials and just just stuff uh just just stuff that you might need in a bar and yeah i'm actually i really like how this room turned out i feel like it it definitely gives like back room of a bar kind of vibe uh maybe a little too clean but you can only make rooms so dirty in animal crossing so this is this is what we're working with but yeah i like how this little area turned out and yeah that is the back room so moving on we have two more rooms to look at real quick so if you come around here and you go downstairs this is the last like public area of the pub and it is a and it is a little tasting room i was not sure what to do with the basement other than make it like a storage room or something but I felt like there was a lot of space here that i didn't need for that back room build so i turned it into a fun little brewery tasting room kind of a thing like the pub has its own special brew and you can come down here and taste it i don't know just have like an ipa dude i don't know i don't know what to tell you it's just like ipa time my guy and you have you come over here you have you have it on tap right right see i'm a genius you didn't know i was a genius did you yeah all right it's a secret don't tell anybody moving on now on to the last part of the house and if you trot on up here you have the yay i'm definitely not filming this in july and if you come up here you have the little living area i wanted it to be just like a little apartment for whoever owns the bar aka my little character um and it has everything you could possibly need it even it even has a toilet it has a stove all right it has a tv what more could you possibly need but yeah i actually really like how this apartment turned out I will admit. I think it's cute. It's cluttered. But anyway, this is the upstairs apartment. It has a little bathroom, a little kitchen, a little dining area, a little TV area, and a little bed. And yeah, it's just super cozy, super cute. I feel like it really does look like, a, a, you know, an apartment above a pub. And yeah, that is, that is it for this house. So then we come back out here. If you go this way, past the Able Sisters, we can continue on our journey. We come down here. And this leads us to Lyman's Fish and Chip Shop. Again, a build that I, I don't know, I really like. I think it's cute. We needed at least one fish and chips establishment. All right, we needed something. And you know what? Lyman provided. And we love him for that. But yeah, this is just a little, it's just a little restaurant. All right, it's got some outdoor seating. You can come out here. You can listen to the waves. You can be cold. Um, you can go inside and order and do whatever you want. Um, but yeah, it has this outdoor seating area. And then let's take a look inside. And this is the inside. This is Lyman's Fish and Chip Shop. I was just going for a simple little seaside fish and chip shop. I don't know, but I think it turned out cute as evidenced by, uh, we actually have customers here. I don't know if you knew that, but this is a fine establishment. But yeah, this is our little fish and chip shop. And I don't know, I think it's cozy and cute and fun, but bright 
and kind of seasidey. I don't know where I'm getting that from. I'm just saying words uh, as usual. I'm <laughs> just talking. I don't know what I'm talking about, but um, I'm talking. Uh, but yeah, this is the little fish and chip shop. And you know what? Does it pass inspection? I have no idea, but it's okay. Lyman is just, he's just doing his best. All right, we're just, we're going to move on. All right, we're going to move on. So yeah, that is Lyman's Fish and Chip Shop. And I don't know, I thought it'd be fun because like his catchphrase is like chips, I think. And I don't know, I thought it, I thought it fit. It worked. We needed somebody. And yeah, he took on that burden of uh, being the fish and chips guy for us. And, you know, we thank him for that. Anyway, feel free to leave offerings. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, so this fish and chip shop actually marks the end of like this quarter of the island. I know we've been, I've been filming for like 30 minutes now. I swear to you, the rest of this will go like slightly faster. Probably not, but I, you know, you can hope. But I like long videos, so I hope you do too. But anyway, that marks kind of the end of, I don't want to say civilization, but, but like the downtown touristy kind of area. So from there, you go over this bridge and boom, you're in the country. Crazy how that happens. But yeah, this is, I just wanted a very green and very natural area um, to have like some farms and stuff. And that is what this chunk of the island ended up being. I just wanted an area that was very green, lush, you know, naturey, And uh, that is what this area became. So you walk across the bridge and you have a couple of options. You can go down to the beach or you can come here. This is where I put nooks cranny and just kind of like as a you know little, little general store kind of a deal and i think it looks good there and then if you follow this little pathway here you can come up here and you end up in boots's little area so my thought is that his job on the island is he's kind of like a, a woodworking extraordinaire if you will okay he's a wood carving master okay and he's living his best life out here in the woods and we love that for him uh anyway <laughs> this is his little area and yeah i just i saw somebody do a sawmill and i thought oh that is the coolest thing ever and then i proceeded to just not do a sawmill um and instead do whatever this is so on another island we're gonna have to make a sawmill because it's stuck in my head don't look over there no look at me don't look over there there's nothing over there you're seeing things are you all right do you need help it's okay just focus on me everything will be just fine but yeah that is his little area and now let's take a look inside his little house and here we are this is the inside of boots's cabin and i was kind of going for like you know a little woodworking kind of theme and yeah i really like how it turned out um I think it's cozy and I like the layout. I think the layout is kind of nifty. And he's got his little workbench here where he can make his clocks and his little, I don't know, wooden decoration. And he's got some plants, you know, kind of carrying in that theme of living in the countryside. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just talking at this point. I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't know where I am. Anyway, uh, <laughs> this is his little cabin. And yeah, this is one of my uh, favorites. I think for this island. I really like how it turned out and look at him. He's so excited about that cactus. Love that for him. Anyway, but yeah, so now let's keep moving on. But yeah, that is Boots's little workshop. And then if you come down, CJ, move. If you come down this path, then you end up back here. And then if you go over this way, you end up at Murphy's house. And my thought for Murphy is that he is somewhat of a barley farmer extraordinaire. All right, that is his his ambition. That's his dream, and he's doing very well for himself. We have this lovely little, uh, sorry, it's not little at all. It's actually rather gigantic, and it uh, swallows up the whole island, quite frankly. I think it's kind of a little bit of a problem. But anyway, my thought for Murphy is that he is a barley farmer. So he grows and supplies the barley for the pub that, you know, we own. And that's how he helps out on the island. That's his role. That's his job. That's his whatever. This is, for all intents and purposes, this is his little barley farm. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Arden, are you okay? What's wrong with you? These are wheat field items and these are wheat plants. And you know what I say to that? Absolutely nothing. Let's move on. Okay, it's barley. Shut up. And here we are. This is Murphy's house. I really like how it turned out with this vine and brick wall. I don't actually know what it's called, but I always really like it, but I never know where to use it. So just for fun, I decided to use it in here. And I really like how it turned out. I think it's pretty cute. It kind of has that kind of cozy, darkish pub vibe uh, that I was going for. And yeah, I don't know. I just, I feel like it fits Murphy, our boy right here. And yeah, that is that. Before we go up that way over there, we are going to take a quick 
little turn about the beach and i wanted this beach to be more natural hence even more wheat fields all right i do i have a problem mm -hmm. anyway this here is where i put the campsite i had no idea where to put the campsite dude i like honestly honestly you see like on the map the back right part of the island like that beach part there i was originally just gonna stick it there and forget about it and just like not not worry about it but yeah i didn't know what to do but then i thought oh you know what would be cool we can put it over here in the front make it into something it could be like a little a little campsite site for if you want to come fishing you know as people i'm sure i'm sure do on the cold beaches of ireland yeah that makes sense anyway yeah, there's a little campsite you can come you can camp you can fish it's got it all and then you come over here and this is drake's bait and tackle shop thank you drake for breaking the immersion anyway we're gonna go inside real quick and we're gonna pretend like it's right now and that drake isn't out here doing whatever he's doing and here we have the inside of drake's bait and tackle shop i think it turned out pretty cute i must say it very much gives me, you know, kind of country, rural, store kind of vibes as, as much as you can get an Animal Crossing. But yeah, I didn't want it to be super on theme and St. Patrick's Day because it's literally just like a little bait shop on the beach. Um, and it's not part of that, you know, touristy downtown area that we made. But yeah, I think it is pretty cute. It makes me very happy. But yeah, that is that. And now we are going to keep moving on yeah so that is drake's little bait and tackle shop I, again i really like how it turned out i think it's cute it makes me happy i keep saying the same exact thing i just realized that i like how it turned out i think it's cute i don't know what what to say all right i've made videos on all of this stuff okay I, i'm so tired at this point i have done very little work but i am so tired <laughs> Um, but yeah, that, that is his little bait shop. I think it works with the vibe that we're creating here. And yeah, then you come over here, we have some boats, and then up here is the dock where you have Cap'n, and you have like a little place to, I don't know, wash your fish, wash your hands. I don't know, is it a tap? You never know. Don't worry about it. And that is kind of it for this part of the beach. And if you will give me a second to run around there, we will talk about this back here. So here's the, here's the thing. All right, here's the tea, here's the hot goss. Listen up and listen good. This island lags, all right? It does not lag as much as like I've seen other islands do, or like I, my last island, the Valentine's Day island, it had a section that like, you had to stand there and wait for it to pop in, all right? It was, it was, it was not fun. For this island, I wanted to try something different, all right? So you can see that big old lake right there. That is primarily to, you know, separate the island and stuff, but the idea came about because I really wanted something to help with lag, because uh, I knew that this island was going to be crowded, especially with, like, you know, wheat fields on all the beaches and stuff, and I wanted something that would help. So, in the interest of making this as pleasant a visiting experience as possible, and also because I'm a little bit lazy, but we're not going to worry about that part. I've blocked this off. All right, there's nothing... I was going to put, like, something fun in secret back there, but I started putting things down, and it got laggy, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> this is not worth it. But yeah, I didn't even know fully what I was going to put back there. So there's, there's no like grand plan or anything that you're missing out on because I know I'm a genius and you love my work. But you know what? Sometimes a genius just has to rest. Okay, just let me have this. But yeah, that this this little part of me is really just background for like if you come over here, then you have something to look at. But yeah, that is why that part of the island is just empty. Like I know I probably should have done it or something, whatever, but it's my island and I do what I want because I'm God here. Okay, if you come up here, <laughs> moving on with the actual tour, the thing that we're doing, if you come up here, we have Opal's little sheep farm. And I tried, I tried to hide the rocking, like little feet, like little rockers on them. I tried so hard. I don't know if it worked, but I think it's, I think it's cute. I think it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. But yeah, this is Opal's little sheep farm. So she has her little house, her little cottage, her little farmhouse over here. It's very lovely and secluded. And yeah, we're going to take a look inside real quick. And here's the inside of Opal's little farmhouse, her, her little cottage over here. And yeah, I wanted something that was very green. Um, no surprise there, but, but uh, I wanted something that was very green, very springy and fun and... I don't know. I'm just, I, I'm just adding words again. I don't, I don't know what to say. Um, at a certain point, I've just done videos on all of these builds. I'm like, well, here it is. Okay, moving on. But yeah, this is her little farmhouse. The layout is a little funky. I wanted to try something, um, scooch. Okay. Um, I wanted to try something by putting the bed over here and like making it like a little nook, which creates like a little entryway here. I don't know, man. <laughs> 
And I think it turned out cool. You know, it's, it's something at least slightly different from what I normally do. I feel like I do the same thing over and over again with houses. Even if it's not on video, like just personally, I just do the same layout over and over again. So I want to do something a little different. And yeah, I think it turned out cool. You know, it's very, very green. Um, but not everything is green. Uh, so it's still just, you know, springy and fun and cozy. I really wanted it to be cozy. Like, you know, she's just a little sheep herder up in the mountains here and she's just living her best life. And yeah, I think, <laughs> I think we got there, uh, overall. But yeah, I, oh, if I, if I hear myself say, but yeah, one more time, I'm going, I'm going to lose it. Um, but, but yeah, that is, that is the house. And now let's keep moving on. But yeah, that was Opal's little house. I think it turned out pretty cute. It's nice and springy and cottagey. But anyway, if you come over here and you come up onto this ledge where you have a little bit more forest and then oop, oop, you round the corner and oh, what is it? <gasps> it's a rainbow bridge. Yes, that's right. We have ourselves a rainbow. And you can hop on over here and then you can run, run, run your little self across, picking up all of this glorious gold and you end up here in the magical leprechaun part of the island all right i don't know what to tell you it's just it had to be done all right we had to do it to him all right so i'm just very quickly going to change into my proper attire there we go that's better so for this area i wanted something that was just super bright super rainbowy super just fun almost kid corp but not in the sense of i wanted things to be kind of cartoony and i used only flowering bushes whereas on the rest of the island you know they're not blooming and just put down a bunch of flowers um in all different colors and just kind of spread them out and this is what we ended up with this is our big rainbow flower field section and i really like this area very much this was the first part of this part of the island that I built. And yeah, I'm very happy with how it turned out. And I really love like the rainbow fencing back here. I think that's fun. I wanted to put all these coins along the path. That I feel way like you're you interacting get... with the environment a little bit more. I don't know. Um, but yeah, and then you come down here and then again, more rainbow wonderland. But if you come over here, that's right. We have a perspective build. You heard that right. We did it. <gasps> Stop it. Okay, we did it. This is our perspective build. I wanted to make a little leprechaun village and I kept seeing all of these really cool perspective builds that people are doing just generally in Animal Crossing, like for everything. And I always thought, you know what? That is cool. I could never do that. And you know what? I was, I was kind of right. All right. Not only is it cool, um, I, I'm not good at it. I'm gonna be real with you. This, this took way too long, but I think it turned out cool. And yeah, I think it's very like leprechaun villagey. Yeah, I just thought it'd be cool to have something like that. So then from there, you can continue on down the path. You have all these coins and everything. And this leads you to, oh, what is this? An, an open sign? What could this possibly be? Well, this is Judy's rainbow leprechaun hub bar situation it's great all right it's great it's so it's a wonderful place it's very rainbow it's very fun so let's take a quick look inside and here we are this is the inside of judy's little rainbow leprechaun pub and you know what i love it i will admit uh, it makes me very happy i'm gonna pull out the camera so you can actually see the um the ceiling and stuff but yeah it's just very bright very colorful um they're all watching uh the stock market because that just made sense to me i'm not saying that leprechaun Cons are finance bros, um, but I am saying that the Venn diagram exists. But um, this is this is the bar. I think it's cool. I really, I don't know. I just wanted to have something very rainbow and very cheesy. And I think you know somehow I think we got there. I don't know how, but I, I think <laughs> I think we managed it. But yeah, I really like how this turned out. And yeah, let's keep on keeping on. Yeah, and that is Judy's little rainbow pub and i love it very much i think it's very fun and very cool um but then you come down this slope and hey there's some more rainbow believe it or not pretty crazy i know it's really unexpected um but there's also some uh money trees because if you come over this way to the right we have our bank that's right i i felt like we needed like a bank of some sort i mean there's a lot of there's a lot of gold coming in and out of this island and honestly i don't think it's safe you know to not have some sort of bank here and Again, this was actually, uh, once again, just like the wishing well thing. Somebody commented suggesting that there would be like a bank where the leprechauns actually have to go and like get their money out of ATMs and stuff. And I thought that was a really cool idea. And I almost turned it into a villager home, but I, I ran out of villagers. So <laughs> this is our bank and we have our ATMs here. And then if you keep going on this way, we have 
a gold mine. Again, another thing that I felt, you know, you kind of you kind of had to do, you know, you just kind of had to do. Um, we have a bunch of leprechauns. They gotta be getting the gold from somewhere. So yeah, this is the gold mine. We have our leprechauns hard at work. And yeah, it take, I, I like this build. It, it took up a lot of space that I didn't have to fill with a bunch of flowers. So that was nice. And it was fun. I, you know, I like how it turned out. Yeah, that is the gold mine. I put the gold around the rocks, you know, because at this point, by the time I got here, the rocks were already, didn't, like, didn't have a place to spawn, so they just spawned over here, and I was like, well, that's fine. So, I just put the gold around them as though they were just full of gold. They're just golden rocks. And then we have our mine entrances here, and yeah, that is our little gold mine on Shamrock. So then, you can go over here and make your way past the bank, past where we came down, keep on going to the left, and once you come across this bridge, you come over to this little area, which is also, you know, full of rainbow things. But this is actually Julian's house. This is his little lucky items shop. So let's take a quick look inside. And here it is. This is the inside of Julian's lucky items shop. I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun to have a shop dedicated to all of the, you know, lucky or lucky adjacent items <laughs> that are in the game. And yeah, we got our little leprechaun friend here running the cash register. Um, and then Julian is in here doing something. Uh, I don't know what, but I'm happy for him. I think he's, I think he's doing an amazing job. Anyway, okay, let us move right along. So yeah, that's the shop. Um, I was really going for, you know, that antique musty vibe. Um, and I, I think it got there. I like, I actually really, I like this build because I was not genuinely expecting as many, like I said, you know, lucky or luck adjacent items in the game, but there, there were a lot and I didn't even, I think I didn't even have room for some. Anyway, that is that. Now we're going to come over here to our mushroom mushroom beach interesting choice i know um i wasn't i was not sure what to do with this beach um because it it's it's like weirdly thin and long so like i, I don't know i thought about putting like you know carnival rides like the plaza like square items or whatever i thought about putting them here and making like a little carnival or something kind of like i did on valentine with the beach on like the other side but it, it, there's not really room like it, it i put some i put some stuff down and it just looked weird and kind of out of place so instead went with more of a natural route i say as i pass the large mushrooms but put some flowers down put a bunch of weeds down some rocks some rock codes and yeah just put down some mushrooms and you know what i think it turned out okay all right i think i think it turned out okay it will work all right, this beach will work. I think it's cute. I actually really liked the mushrooms on the beach, I will admit, just because the um, the stems are, are really a similar color to the sand. So I thought that was cool. Anyway, it looks like they're coming up out of the sand. Super fun, super great, super cool. But um, from there, if you go up this ramp, this takes you back up to the level of the rainbow pub. But you come over here, which is just across the bridge here. And this is Goldie's Gold, the pawn shop and gold buying store for Shamrock. I thought, I don't know, I thought that'd be a fun thing to have. I don't know. I don't know why I thought, oh, you know what we should do? Pawn shop. But I did. And yeah, let's take a quick little look inside. And this is our last villager home. And here we have Goldie's little pawn shop. Shop. I think it turned out pretty cute. Um, I think it gives off definitely pawn shop, we buy gold vibes. And yeah, I just stuck pretty much every gold item I could think of or that looked like something you could find in a pawn shop in here. And yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. And I finally got to use this pirate flooring, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I don't know, I just thought it'd be fun. We had to have something gold themed on the island, you know, especially like especially in like this back half. We really had to have something gold themed. And <laughs> I know Goldie is like a doesn't super duper fit necessarily, but because of her name, because I wanted to do something gold, I thought it'd be fun. And I just thought, you know, a little pawn shop would be a fun an interesting, I use interesting loosely, um, <laughs> just a kind of a fun idea. And yeah, I like how it turned out. It definitely gives me pawn shop vibes. And look at her, look at her. She's doing amazing. She's living her best life. Why are you, why, wait, why are you sad? Okay, no, you're fine. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. We can all calm down. Okay, so that actually is it now for the villager homes for Shamrock and well, all of the homes for Shamrock. We're gonna walk around a little bit more, chit chat just a little bit more. Um, that way I can say goodbye and we can talk about what we're doing next because uh, that's gonna be fun. But yeah, that is it for the homes. It feels so weird. Like even just recording this, I'm like, oh, it's finally oh, over at last. We have defeated this island. Really, the, the island was not a problem. It was just myself. <laughs> but, but yeah, that. That is 
That is that. We made it all around the island. Only took me over an hour of filming. Isn't that great? Isn't that fun? Anyway, my throat is like getting sore. Um, but yeah, that is that that that's the tour. I don't know what else to show you. That's that's I, we went over everything. I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't know what it would be because like we went everywhere and I explained everything. Um, but yeah, that that's Shamrock, guys. If you've been watching, you know, the videos building this, thank you so much. It really, really does mean a lot. And if you're watching this video, you made it this far. Thank you so much for watching. It, it really does mean a lot. Making videos and stuff has been so much fun and I can't wait to do it so much more regularly than I have been doing it. And I'm really looking forward to all of the fun stuff we're gonna do and all the fun stuff we're gonna make. But yeah, that is, that's gonna be it for Shamrock, guys. This is it, this, this video, this is the last, you know, hurrah of Shamrock. From here, let's talk about what we're gonna do next. All right, now this is, this is where it's fun. Believe it or not, it is coming up on the Halloween season. Okay, at least for, well, for me, Halloween is year round. Okay, it's part of my soul. I've kind of started to see people talk about Halloween stuff and like Halloween themes and Halloween things. So we, we are going to start our Halloween Island. Um, I don't know what it's gonna be called yet. I know that I want it to be pretty colorful and fun, I don't know. I don't know if we'll add horror elements to it. I don't know if we'll make this like a separate horror island. I don't know. There are so many things we could do. It's gonna be so much fun. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do this. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the Zelda island. I wanna keep working on it. It just kind of fell by the wayside because I was trying to decide, well, do I wanna film those or do I wanna just film playing Tears of the Kingdom? Like, I don't know. It's a whole mess. Anyway, you don't need to hear that. I'm very sorry. Thank you for listening. It really means a lot. But yeah, that is the plan. Uh, we're going straight from St. Patrick's Day to Halloween, you know, the happiest time of year. But yeah, I'm so looking forward to those videos i can't wait to see you there and yeah i don't know what else we're gonna do but it's, it's gonna be fun we're gonna play some games man we're going we're gonna play some games all right we're gonna we're gonna be out here gonna be gaming all right and just fyi as i'm filming this video and stuff i'm also uh doing a bunch of like little quick room builds like little interior builds to use for shorts and stuff on youtube and reels and tiktok whatever so if you see those those are not attached to an island those are just like one-off little things i'm doing just for fun like i think it's gonna help with burnout and also with like creativity and ideas and stuff will they be good i don't know but they will be okay <laughs> they will be there uh, and you can watch them they'll be really quick and yeah just fun like little ideas for your interiors so yeah that's coming up but yeah thank you so so much for watching i do really quickly want to say I, again i'm sorry i feel like i'm rambling on but it's you know what it's my video okay it's my video and i get to do what i want all right all right but uh, i just wanted to quickly say thank you so so much for watching i i, I keep saying that but i really do mean it um it boggles my mind. Um, as of filming this, we're at 757 subscribers, which is way more than I, I ever expected. Like that, that's a lot of people, dude. That is a lot of people, but it's just, it's so cool and it's so fun. And yeah, I'm having, I'm having a good time, man. I'm, ha I'm having a really good time. I think it's really cool that y'all are here too, and you're watching the videos and you're enjoying them. And I know that this video has taken forever in this island has taken forever. But really what I wanted to say, I feel like I'm just rambling, I'm very sorry. What I wanted to say is, is thank you if you are watching and you've made it this far, or if you've seen any of my videos, like if five seconds, whatever. I just want to say thank you for being so patient and bearing with all of this and still watching the videos, even though it's summer and they're like, it's a St. Patrick's Day themed Irish themed island. I, I, don't, I don't even know, like it's summer. Okay, we should be summering, okay? And here we are, okay? <laughs> I'm not saying that this is not, you know, a summer fantasy, because it is, but you know what I mean. I just wanted to quickly thank you guys for being here and for watching. It is really, really cool. But yeah, so if you want to see more of whatever this is, <laughs> subscribe. Um, I'm going to be playing games, mostly cozy games, but some other games too, probably because you know, I like games. You know, you're just like games, dude. All right. Just like a gamer. But yeah, subscribe if you want to see more of whatever this is. Uh, like the video if you haven't. That actually, surprisingly, I did not know this. It actually really helps with the algorithm. Like it actually, more people see it. The more people who like the video, the more people see it. More people comment, like the same thing. And yeah, that is, that is it. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh my God, we did it. I cannot believe we did it. It's over. It's finally over. We've won. <laughs> we did it. We won the executive dysfunction battle. How amazing.